Hello everyone. Welcome back to this online class. Today we are going to look at how to find the roots of equations. And in particular, we look at Newton Raphson method for the multivariate functions. That is a case where you are given a system of uh, algebraic equations and you are asked to solve it using Newton Raphson method. So for example, we are given this simultaneous equation that x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 and uh, 4x squared minus y squared is equal to 4. And starting with x naught is 1 and y naught is 1, we need to find the values of x and y. So I want us to recall the method. Remember now this simultaneous equation. So you need to take note that uh, the newton raphson method is given by x now it is a vector n plus 1 is equals to x n minus the Jacobian of Fg, Jacobian matrix of Fg, and this is inverse times F vector of xn. Of course, xn is a vector. So I'll just write f of the vector xn. And remember, this is the formula when you have this kind of a system that f of x, y is equals to zero the first equation, and the other equation is that g of x, y is equals to zero. So you'll need to find the Jacobian matrix of f and g. So remember this is the formula, and what we call x of x n, let me write it here, that uh, our x vector is simply this vector, x, y. So if it is evaluated at x, n, it will be x, n, y, n. And the Jacobian matrix, our j, is this matrix, partial f with respect to x, f with respect to y, g with respect to x, g with respect to y. So you are going to find its inverse. So for this case, let's first of all start by finding our Jacobian matrix. Remember, I could write this formula as this one, xn plus 1, yn plus 1 is equals to xn, yn, minus the Jacobian matrix of F and G evaluated at X N Y N. You can just write N. Uh, let me write this. Those should be evaluated at N and also G N. Get the inverse. And then what you get, you multiply by our f n and g n. What is our f n? It is f of x n y n. Let me just write that way. f of x n y n. This is g of x n y n. And in this case, n is equals to 0, 1, 2, etc. So, look at our given system. Now, this one here is our, of course, it must be equal to 0. So, you can say that x squared plus y squared minus 4 is equals to 0. 
This other one is 4x squared minus y squared minus 4 is equals to 0. So that this is our f of x, y. f of x, y. This other one is our g of x, y. Those are the things you need from the system and also the starting point, the initial guesses. So we are given that uh, f of x, y is x squared plus y squared minus 4. g of x, y is uh, 4x squared minus y squared minus 4. So what is uh, partial f with respect to x? as a function of x, y, it is equals to 2x. f with respect to y as a function of x, y, is equals to 2y. Partial g with respect to x, as a function of x, y, that is equals to 8x. And uh, g with respect to y, as a function of x, y, that is negative 2y. So therefore, our Jacobian matrix J of FG is this matrix 2x, 2y, 8x, negative 2y. So what is the determinant of the Jacobian matrix? Determinant of j. So that will be 2x negative 2y minus 2y times 8x. That should give us negative 4xy minus 16xy. And so that is negative 20 x, y. That's the determinant. So what is now the j inverse? j inverse is 1 over the determinant. That is 1 over negative 20 x, y times the adjoint matrix, which is uh, negative 2y. Again, here is negative 2y negative 8x, 2x. That is the adjoint matrix of J. If I multiply, I'm going to get, remember I'm checking 1 over negative 20xy inside. I'm going to get 1 over 10x. Here, 1 over another 10x. This other part is negative 8x over negative 20xy, that will give us, uh, of course, when you divide 4, we'll go there, 2. So this 2 over 2 over 5y. And this other one is uh, negative 1 over 10y. So that is the inverse of the Jacobian matrix. So let's go back to our iterative formula. So you evaluate this at xn, yn. And now we have everything. Now you can just say that therefore, xn plus 1 yn plus 1 is equals to xn yn minus that matrix which we have just found. It is 1 over 10xn, another 1 over 10xn, 
2 over 5 y n negative 1 over 10 y n times our f of x y that is x n squared plus y n squared minus 4 here we have 4 x n squared minus y n squared minus 4 that's what we have. So, uh, let's multiply those two matrices that we have there. What are we going to get? Multiply this, this times this other one. So you can write or xn plus one, yn plus one, is equals to xn yn. When you multiply, you need to get five xn squared, so it's a minus. Five x n squared minus eight over ten x n. And the other one is uh five y n squared minus twelve. over 10 y n so this is our iterative formula for n is equals to 0 1 2 etc you could also write this as you can say or xn plus 1 is equals to xn minus 5xn squared minus 8 over 10xn. yn plus 1 is equals to yn minus 5yn squared minus 12 over 10 y n and our x naught is equals to one our y naught is also equals to one so those are the initial guesses let us now perform the iterations so when i put n is equals to zero I'm going to get x1 is equals to x0 minus 5x0 squared minus 8 over 10x0. When you press that, uh, you need to get 1.3. y1 is equals to y0 minus 5y0 squared minus 12 of over 10 y not that should give you 1.7 let us proceed when uh, n is equals to 1 put n is 1 what are we going to get x2 is equals to x1 minus 5 x1 squared minus 8 over 10x1 uh, that will give us 1.2654 and y2 is equals to y1 minus 5y1 squared minus 12 over 10y1 
when you press, you need to get 1.5559. Let us proceed to the next iteration. Now when n is 2, put n is equals to 2. We we'll now get x3 is x2 minus 5 x2 squared minus 8 over 10 x2 that is 1.2649 1.2649 what about y3 that is uh, y2 minus 5 times y2 squared minus 12 over 10 y2. That is 1.5492. We proceed until we achieve convergence. So let's start, uh, try n is equals to 3. We are going to get uh, x4 is equals to x3 minus 5 x3 squared minus 8 over 10 x3. That is 1.2649. Uh, y4 is equals to y3 minus 5 y3 squared minus 12 of over 10 y3 and this is again is equal to 1.5492 so you realize that the values that we found when n is 2 are the same values we are finding when n is 3. So we have achieved convergence and so we stop the iterations and say that therefore our x is approximately equal to 1.26 49 y is approximately equal to 1.5492. So these are our roots of the given equations. Remember there were simultaneous equations. So thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Professor Francis Okech. When you go to the YouTube search, type Francis Okech or Prof. Francis O'Cage, and you will find me right there. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. When you meet next time, we look at more problems involving finding the roots of equations. Bye-bye.